Hello guys, welcome. In today's video, we are going to discuss trigonometry. Trigonometry. I think this must be chapter number 10. If I'm not wrong, please check it out. Okay. So this chapter, trigonometry, is one of the most important chapter. I can say the most important chapter. Oh, it is one of the most important chapter, trigonometry. Why? Because in your higher classes, okay, this will occupy a high number. Or in a high class, higher classes, you are going to see trigonometry everywhere. Another thing is, even in this year, even in this class 10, okay, question paper, you will get a very good percentage of trigonometry, okay? It will be at least around, I think so, seven, eight or nine marks questions are asked from this chapter. So, this is no doubt one of the most important chapter. So, we are going to discuss trigonometry, chapter number 10 for Board of Secondary Education, Manipur. Okay? So, let us discuss. Okay? Let us discuss what is trigonometry and what we are going to learn here. So, I have taken the previous year's question paper. Okay? Previous year's question paper. But before going through all those question paper, let me tell you the basics because it is one of the most important chapter as well as one of the most difficult chapter as well. Okay, so we need to understand a little bit basics. So I'm not going to go from just the base. Okay, from exactly the base or basic because it will take quite longer time for me to explain everything. So let me just start from where like it will be little bit you have to take little bit difficulty and i can also finish the chapter easily okay let us start from that point okay that point let us start by explaining sine theta cos theta tan theta cosec theta sec theta and cot theta okay now what are all this? You know a right triangle. You know a right triangle, right angle here. Okay. This kind of triangle, name it A, B, C, where the right triangle is at C. So if you happen to take this angle as theta, okay, this angle is theta. Simple, it is not that difficult. You just need to understand a right triangle. Okay. Now in a right triangle A, B, C, Right angle is C and B is theta. So in this kind of triangle, sine of theta will be AC by AB. Opposite to angle theta by hypotenuse. Okay. So far it is clear to you. So it is AC by AB. Another cos of theta. Cos of theta will be base by hypo. Base is bc base means this one okay by hypotenuse ab so bc by a b tan theta will be tan theta tan of this theta will be opposite by base so it is ac by pc cosec theta this one is opposite of sine theta or we can say hypotenuse by opposite okay that is ab by a C okay now sec theta is opposite of cos theta and it is a B by B C hypotenuse by base and cot theta it is opposite of tan theta and it is B C by A C B C by A C I hope it is clear to you cosec and like we can say cosec is equal to 1 by sine sec is equal to sec theta is equal to 1 by cos theta and cot theta is equal to 1 by tan theta i hope you understood so far okay so theta okay this theta may be any angle okay it may be any angle, okay? Theta may be any angle from 0 to 90 degree. 
okay how you know the right triangle right you know the right triangle this trigonometry we are going to understand only for right triangle so this is the right triangle so the sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 okay all these three angles plus will be 180 but this is already 90 so what is left out 90 degree okay so from 0 degree to 90 degree can be any angle this one okay this can be any angle from 0 to 90 degree okay so let us understand each and every angle let us start with the question and afterward i'll explain in the middle okay so let us start with first question find the values of trigonometric ratios of 45 i think this question was asked in 2015 must be 2015 because i haven't written anything it must be for three marks maybe possibly three marks so the question is asking find the values of trigonometric ratios of 45 degree okay trigonometric ratios of 45 degree what we need to find out sine 45 cos 45 cosec 45 10 45 let me write down in my order cosec theta cosec 45 sec 45 and cot 45 okay now we have a right triangle right triangle take the right triangle here and let us derive for 45 degree It is very simple, okay, very simple. You will get even in a textbook this one. But let me explain. It is my duty to explain. So let me name is A, B, C. Now suppose you just imagine, okay, this is 90 degree. Okay, actually it is 90 degree, okay. <laughs> no need to imagine even. It is 90 degree. Little bit crooked, ignore it, okay. Now this is 45 degree, okay. Now what does... We need to do well, what we need to do is here look here okay let us use the triangle sum formula that is angle a b let me write on like this angle a plus angle b plus angle c will be equal to 180 degree sum of the angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree you know that right so angle a plus angle b is 45 plus angle c is 90 is equal to 180 so angle A is equal to 180 minus 90 plus minus 45 because if you transfer this one this side even this one this side then change sign changes will take place so it is 180 minus 90 it is 90 90 minus 45 it is 45 degree angle A is 45 degree I hope it is clear to you now you have got angle a is 45 degree you have similar same angle here this and this angle are equal if two angles are equal the sides opposite to that angle are equal suppose let's say this opposite side to this one will be this one and opposite side to this angle will be this one therefore we can say a c is equal to b c these two sides are also equal so far clear to you now let me rough out okay i hope it is clear to you okay if you need to write down or copy you just pause the video and write it down okay let me rough out because doing in the next page is it will be more complicated Forty-five degree. So AC is equal to AB. Now let us name AC is equal to BC. BC. BC is equal to X. Suppose. Let us. Let us let us take. Okay. Then we can by use here Pythagoras theorem. By Pythagoras theorem. Pythagorean theorem theorem okay, Pythagoras theorem what does Pythagoras theorem says a b square plus a b square is equal to b c square plus a c square okay this square is equal to this square plus this square why we are doing this because we know that this value is x we know this as x we need to find out what is a b so that we can find out all the ratios 
So AB squared is equal to BC squared plus AC squared. So AB squared. Okay, what is AB squared? We do not know AB squared. BC, BC is X, X squared plus AC is also X here. So X squared, X squared plus X squared, 2X squared. AB is equal to 2X squared. So AB is equal to AB squared is equal to 2X squared. So AB will be root of 2x square, root over 2x square. So we can write down this is 2 will be root 2x. Okay, root 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 and square will be cancelled. So root 2x. So AB we got the value as root 2x. I hope so far it is clear to you. Now let us find out sine 45, cos 45, tan 45, cosec 45, this sec 45 and cot. 45. Let us do that. Okay. Now let us start by let us start doing that. Now we know sine 45. So sine 45, sine of 45 will be AC by AB. AC by AB. Cos of 45. Cos of 45 is BC by AB. BC by AB. Ten of 45 is AC by BC. Cosec 45, it is opposite of sine 45, it is AB by AC. Sec of 45, sec of 45, it is opposite of cos 45, it is AB by BC. And cot of 45, it is opposite of ten of 45, it is BC by a C. Okay, I've written down everything. So let us find out sine 45. What will be sine 45? Sine 45 AC. What is AC? AC is X. What is AB? AB is root 2 X. So X divided by root 2 of X root 2 X X X cancel. The answer will be 1 by root 2. So we got it is quite messy, but please bear with me. So let me, it is 1 by root 2. Okay. Similarly, cos 45, cos 45 BC by AB. BC is X, X divided by AB is root 2 X, X, X cancel 1 by root 2. So cos 45 and sin 45 are same. What is 10 45? 10 45 is X divided by X x divided by x, x x cancel is equal to 1. Okay. What will be cosec 45? It is opposite. It is reciprocal of sine 45. So we can write 1 by root 2 reciprocal will be root 2. Sec 45, 1 by root 2 reciprocal will be root 2. And cot 45 reciprocal of 10 45 which will be 1 divided by 1, it will be 1. Okay. We got the answer. So by for writing all this answer, you may get 3 or 4 mark. Okay. So that's all. Let us do the another question. What is the another question? Find the value of 2 10 30 by 1 minus 10 square 30 degree. This question is very simple, not that difficult, but something we need to understand here. Okay. The thing we need to understand are the ratios, the values. Okay. So, what you need to keep in mind are all this. Okay. Sine, let me write down. Sine theta cos theta tan theta cosec theta sec theta cot theta so this is 0 degree 30 degree 45 degree 60 degree 90 degree so in the textbook every angle is given in a textbook actually they have found out even sometimes they even asked okay like the previous question, find or ratios of 45, they used to ask for 30 or 60 also. Okay. So you just look in the textbook. So far, they haven't asked when I was looking the question paper till 2017. I didn't get it. So I went done. Okay. You just look at anything you need to understand and you, you don't know, then you just write down in the comment below. I'm here to help you. Okay. I'll make the video on it or I'll just explain to you in the comment video. So we have all this value. Okay. All this value are given in a textbook in a table. Okay. I forgot the page number. But there is a table, okay, in which everything is given. So sine of 0, it will be 0. 
okay let me write down how much i know okay 1 by 2 this is 1 by root 2 this is root 3 by 2 and this is 1 cos will be this will be 1 this will be root 3 by 2 1 by root 2 1 by 2 and 0 10 will be 10 will be this is this will be 0 this will be 1 by root 3 this will be 1 this will be root 3 and this will be undefined okay and cosec it is opposite of sine so 1 by 0 1 by 0 is undefined okay and what about cosec of 30 cosec of 30 it will be you just write the opposite of sine of 30 okay it will be just 2 and cosec of 45 what is cosec of 45 cosec of 45 will be just the opposite of sine of 45 it will be root 2 and here is 2 by root 3 and here it is 1 similarly sec opposite of cos cos 1 2 by root 3 root 2 root 2 2 0 and cot of 30 cot of 0 will be opposite of 10 1 by 0 undefined I hope I'm correct, okay? I'm just writing it how much I know, okay? So, if I'm correct, give the like down there in comment below, okay? Just give the like. So, cot of 30, cot of 0, it is undefined. Cot of 30, it is opposite of 10, so it is root 3. Here, it will be 1. It is 1 by root 3. And here, it will be 0, okay? So, that's all which you need to understand, okay? So, I don't know how to copy and keep a side, okay, this one, I don't know how to do that. So, I think this much is okay. So, the question, okay, let us do the question. The question says 2 of 10, 30. What is 10 of 30? 10 of 30 is 1 by root 3, okay. So, let me rough out, okay. I hope you understood so far all this, okay. Let me rough out, so, and let me do you can look you can refer a textbook even you can open a textbook and see in that table okay it is there everything i'm not writing something new that it is out of a textbook it is there it is the basic thing which you need to know to learn trigonometry okay so let me just do that okay done with the rough thing okay let me do this question to 10 of 30 what is 10 of 30 10 of 30, I think we got 1 by root 3. Uh, it is, yeah, I think so. 1 by 2 divided by root 3 by 2. 1 by root 3 is the answer. So, 10 of 30 is root 3 by, uh, 1 by root 3. 1 by root 3. You check it out in a table. 1 minus 1 by root 3 whole square, right? 10 square 30, so whole square. So, we can write 2 by root 3. 2 under 2 divided by root 3. Here, 1 minus 1 divided by 3, it will be 3 square and root cancel, so 3. So it will be 2 by root 3 divided by 3 minus 1, 2 by 3. Okay, so 2 divided by root 3. This one you take as multiply and write down like this. You can write like this also. Okay, so cancel to 2 root 3 divided by 3, it will turn into root 3. So it is root 3. How, how this happened? Okay, 3 divided by root 3. 3 you can write down like this, right? 3 into root 3 into root 3 divided by root 3. Okay, root 3 into root 3. Root 3 square, it is 3, right? So cancel these two and we got root 3. I hope you know this much. So the answer is root 3. By doing this much, you get one mark. 2014, 2016 question, sorry. Now let us do another question. The value of find the value of sine 30 plus 1045 minus cos 60 divided by sec 30 plus cos 60 plus cot 45. We need to find the answer to this question. Sine 30. What is sine 30? Sine 30 is 1 by 2. Plus 1045 it is 1. Minus cosec 60. What is cosec 60? 2 by root 3. Check it out in a table. I may do some mistakes. So please check it out. It will be good if you check out. Sec 30 is 2 by root 3 plus cos of 60. Cos of 60 is 1 by 2 plus cot of 45 is 1. 
So let us take the LCM. LCM will be 2 root 3. So 2 divided by 2 root 3 here, it will be root 3. I hope you know all these basics. 2 root 3 will come here minus 2 to the 4 root 3. No, 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 no. Root 3 divided by 4. Okay. So th this much. And divided by, same thing here, 2 root 3 is the LCM. So 2 to the 4 plus 1 into root 3 plus 2 root 3 these two cancel okay now what is left out is this one and this one okay so write down here so root 3 let me start with 2 root 3 2 root 3 plus root 3 minus 4 divided by 2 root 3 plus root 3 plus 4 okay now i hope this is the answer and you don't need to complicate or do anything or but you can write a little bit further like like this let me record all this let me record i hope you understood so far okay let me record what is not needed if you need you just take the video post the video take a little bit forward and you little bit take slice this side okay and look okay so you can go back and watch it okay so this 2 root 3 plus root 3 it will be 3 root 3 minus 4 by 3 root 3 plus 4. This can be your answer. Okay. This can be your answer by giving just two marks question. So I hope you can write till here. Otherwise, you can do a minus b, a plus b, and you can split out. You can do that also. Okay. You just multiply by a minus b and further you can split out and you can get some answer. Okay, you just do it. If it is needed, you just do it. If you think it is needed. You can do it. How you are going to do it? You multiply by 3 root 3 minus 4. 3 root 3 minus 4. You multiply by this one. Okay. This one a plus b, a minus b, a square plus b square, a square minus b square. Sorry, you can do that. Okay. So let me do another question because we don't have, I think the time is running quite fast. Let me take my tea. So time is running fast and I don't have I need to do many questions okay so another question another question says if cos a is equal to 4 by 5 find the sine a and tan a so cos a is 4 by 5 we need to find sine a and tan a so let us draw a triangle first let us draw like this so this is a b c let us make like this okay we know cos a cos a what is cos a cos of a is equal to 4 by 5 okay which is also equal what is cos of let's say this is a okay then what will be cos base by hypotenuse so we can write a b by a c okay let us take a triangle you can you just write down let us take a triangle right triangle whose right angle at right angle at b so you can read you can write down like this okay and we have written so we can say a b is equal to 4 a c is equal to 5 okay so let me refer this one a b is 4 and a c is 5 okay so far we know from this this much we know now what you need to do is a c and a b are known so let us use Pythagoras theorem and find out this one. So what does Pythagoras theorem says? A C square is equal to A B square plus B C square. A C square is 5 square. 5, right? A C, 5. A B is 4 square plus B C square. Okay. Now 5 square, 25 is equal to 4 square. So 4 was the 16 plus B C square. B C square is equal to 25 minus 16 which will be 9 so bc is equal to root over 9 which is 3 so we got bc as 3 i hope this much is clear to you okay now we got bc as 3 let me rough out again in this in this particular video okay, in this trigonometry i'm taking only one page for one question okay so that 
the next page may not complicate you. You you'll understand. Okay, that's okay. So we have to use the Pythagoras theorem and find found out the find out the value of BC. Okay. So now we need to find sine A. What is sine A? Sine of A. Sine A is opposite by hypotenuse. So it is BC by AC. What is BC? Three. What is AC? Five. Okay. Clear. Now, ten A. What is ten A? Ten A is opposite this one BC by AB. BC by AB. What is BC? It is three. What is AB? Four. So we got sine A as well as ten A. Okay. It is of two marks. Two thousand fourteen. Let us see another question. What is another question? If theta is an acute angle such that cos theta is equal to three by five, then the value of tan theta is. We have if theta is an acute angle such that cos theta is equal to three by five, then the value of tan theta is. Same type of question, okay? Same questions as before, but here they are asking only tan theta. So this, this, like before, a, b, c. So this is the theta. And this is an acute angle. Acute angle means angle less than 90 degree and greater than zero degree. So you can see this is less than 90 degree and greater than zero degree. Okay. So cos of theta is equal to AB by AC, which is equal to three by five. So AB will be three and AC will be five. AB is three and AC is five. Okay. It is like previous question. You do you do the Pythagoras theorem and find out this one. What will be this one? It will be four. You just do the Pythagoras theorem. Let me do it. Five square is equal to three square plus B C square. Okay. B C square is equal to five hundred twenty-five minus three three nine. How I did this one? This is A C square. This is A B square. Okay. Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras relations. So B C square is equal to twenty-five minus nine. It is sixteen. B C is equal to root over sixteen, which is four. So you got you got here is four. Let me rough out again and let me make you understand once more. Let me make you okay, 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 okay. okay, okay. So BC is four. We got it. Now we need ten theta. What is ten theta? Ten theta. A B. Uh, what is ten theta? BC by AB, right? BC by AB opposite by base. So what is BC? Four. What is AB? Three. So four by three is the answer. Okay, so here where is four by three a right? So this is the answer. By doing this much, you get one mark. This question was asked in two thousand twelve. Let us see another question. In a right triangle ABC, right angle at B, so that cos square a plus sine square a is equal to one. Now we have a right triangle ABC. Right triangle ABC, right angle at B. So let us write down A B C. So right angle, right triangle is at B. Okay. Now show that cos square A. What do we need to show? To show, to prove, to show cos square A plus sine square A is equal to one. We need to show. Okay, what do we need to solve this one? We have this much, okay, and right angle is at B. So, what we need to do? You use here Pythagoras relation. What Pythagoras relation said? AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Any time if you happen to talk about right triangle, okay, you need to keep in mind Pythagoras relation. Okay, it might be the first equation which was derived, so so remarkable in the history. Okay, and it is running still. Okay, so AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Now, we let let us divide by AC square both sides. Divide by AC square. Okay, so AC. Square by AC square is equal to AB square by AC square 
plus BC square by AC square. AC square, AC square cancel, so it is 1. We can write AB by AC whole square plus BC by AC whole square. Okay. Let us write down what is cos A. Cos of A will be base by hypotenuse. That is AB by AC. And what will be sine of A? Sine of A will be opposite by hypotenuse. That is CB by AC. CB by AC. You know this. This is simple. You know I have already told you in previous question or previous section. 1 is equal to AB by AC is cos of A. Cos of A, AB by AC. Square is there, the cos square A plus BC by AC. BC by AC or CB by AC is sine of a square is there so square so we have got the relation cos square a plus sine square a is equal to one okay this is the relation by doing this much you get two marks okay this question was asked in 2011 i hope i made you understood the concept okay let us do another question all these questions are there in the textbook, okay? All these solutions to all these questions you get in the textbook. Proof that 1 plus sec theta plus 10 theta divided by 1 plus sec theta minus 10 theta is equal to 1 plus sec theta by cos theta. So, this, so most of the students complain that they are unable to do this, okay? This is a little bit complex, okay? A little bit complex because you would not know what to do okay sometimes you can use two three formulas but you you would know which one to use to get the required answer <coughs> so let us do the question okay the question says we need to prove this one is equal to this one so let us write down this one 1 plus 6 theta plus 10 theta divided by 1 plus 6 theta minus 10 theta okay now one we can write 6 square theta one we can write 6 square theta minus 10 square theta. How? There is a relation in the textbook which you are going to find out and look it. So, so we can 6 square theta 10 square theta is equal to 1. Okay. There is a relation like this. Okay. Similarly, how we have done cos square theta plus sin square theta we have found out in the previous question is equal to 1. Like this. Okay. We can write down 6 square theta minus 10 square theta is equal to 1. This here, uh, formula is also there okay if you want me to derive i can just derive okay uh, in the next video this video will be quite long so i'm just trying my level best to make this video shorter okay i didn't think so it will it won't cross one hour okay i've taken the minimum question possible so let us do it first okay so one i've written this one is six square theta plus ten square theta plus six theta plus ten theta and denominator also let us write down so denominator is 1 plus sec theta minus 10 theta. Okay. So one, sec square theta plus minus 10 square theta plus sec theta plus 10 theta. From this, you take sec theta plus 10 theta common. Okay. So sec theta plus 10 theta. Put this in bracket. Now we are taking sec theta plus 10 theta common. So, if you happen to take sec theta plus 10 theta common, what will ref left out here? 1. Okay. 1. What is another thing that you will ref out? Sec square theta minus 10 square theta. Okay. Sec theta plus 10 theta, sec theta minus 10 theta. We can write down like this. A plus B, A minus B, right? A plus B has gone out. So, what is left out? 1 plus sec theta minus 10 theta. Okay. Write down in the denominator what is the 1 plus sec theta minus 10 theta. 
these two cancel out. So what is left out? Sec theta plus tan theta. Okay. Sec theta plus tan theta is left out here. So, but still we need to find out 1 plus sec theta by cos theta. So what we are going to do? You just split out 10. Okay. Sec theta plus tan theta will be sin theta by cos theta. Okay. Cos theta divided by cos theta. Let us take the LCM cos theta right on cos theta into sin sec theta plus sin theta. Okay. Let me record the first portion so that it will be easy for me to write it down. Wind is blowing. People are making noise outside. So it may be disturbing for you. But do not mind those who are learning, for them, noise it doesn't matter. Actually, this kind of sign will not be there. It will be equal to, okay, this also will not be there. This is wrong, actually. So, according to mathematics, this is wrong. So, equal to, this one also must not be there. So, cos, cos, okay, sec is 1 by cos. I've already told you in the first, first slide or, yeah, first slide, I can say, plus, sin theta divided by cos theta so this one theta this one theta cancel it is one so one plus sin theta by cos theta we have got oh no no they are saying sec so this is wrong okay the question is wrong it must be sin theta i don't know whether the question paper is strong or i've written mistakes i don't know but answer will be one plus sin theta by cos theta this is the answer okay I hope I haven't done any mistake. If I have been done any mistake, so this is the right answer. Let us do another question. This question was asked in 2015 by giving three marks. Let us do another question. Another question. It was asked in 2011 by giving three marks. This is three mark question. It was asked in 2011. Okay. The question says, if tan theta is equal to a by b, so that a sin theta plus minus b cos theta divided by a sin theta plus b cos theta is equal to a square minus b square divided by a square plus b square similar type of questions as before okay but little bit we have something different here so let us write on the solution so what is tan theta is equal to a by b okay so this we know now let us take this question this question is left hand side okay let us take left hand side no need to write down you just write down in a jump how you want to write down a sin theta minus b cos theta divided by a sin theta plus b cos theta so we have written down here uh, I don't know where am I, it was some emergency call, this event. So, A sin theta minus B cos theta, please ignore the background sound, okay, much sound is going on in the background. So, I ask forgiveness for that, it was some emergency thing. So, A, a sin theta minus B cos theta divided by A sin theta plus B cos theta. Now, divide both sides, numerator and denominator by sin theta. Now, you divide by cos theta, okay. divide by cos theta a sin theta by cos theta minus b cos theta divided by cos theta divided by a sin theta divided by cos theta plus b cos theta divided by cos theta we have divided by cos theta on numerator as well as denominator. So a sine by cos, a sine by cos is tan theta. Minus b cos by cos, it is cancelled, so it is only b. Divided by a sine by cos, it is also tan theta. Plus b cos by cos, it is only b. Okay. So this much, I hope it is clear to you. Now, instead of tan theta, we can write down a by b. So let me write down over here. Okay, I'm writing up here. Okay, do not get confused. Okay, a into tan theta, tan theta is a by b. So, into a by b minus b. Let me draw for this one again. This 
डिवाइडेड बाय ए इनटू ए बाय बी माइनस बी टेन थीटा इज ए बाय बी ओके इनटू ए इट इज ए स्क्वायर माइनस B is the LCM. You take the B as is, is LCM. So A is A square minus B into B will be B square divided by here B A into A will be A square minus B into B will be B square. Cancel these two. Okay. Oh, this is plus sign. Sorry for that. I've done a minor mistake. So we can write like this. We can further write A square minus B square by A square plus B square. I hope we got the answer. A square minus B square by divided by A square plus B square. This is the answer which you need to prove, and we got the answer by doing this much. You'll get three marks. This question was asked in 2011. Okay, let us do another question. Prove the identity. Cos square theta minus sine square theta is equal to cot square theta minus one by cot square theta plus one. So this is the question which you need to do. Look here, this question is a little bit tricky. Okay, if you happen to start by left hand side, take left hand side. Okay, taking left hand side, you can write down like this: cos square theta minus sine square theta. Okay, divide both side by cos theta and uh, sine theta. Okay, cos square theta divided by sine square theta minus sine square theta divided by sine square theta. Cos square theta by sine square theta it will be cot square theta. Cot square theta. Minus sine square theta by sine square theta is this one. Okay, you will get only numerator here, like this. Okay, like this you get only numerator here. Okay, not the denominator. So you can get the denominator if you cons just consider here divided by one. Okay, divided by one it will be cos square theta plus sine square theta. We can write down. Okay, divide both side by sine square theta. Line upper. So divide by cos square theta by sine square theta will be cot square theta plus sine square theta by sine square theta. It is one. Okay. So cot square theta minus one cot square theta plus one. You have got the, the. This is the answer. Like like this you can do. But most of the most of the questions I think even in textbook I don't know I think it is it must be in guide or textbook. Most of the people okay most of the teacher even okay prefer to do it by write. Right hand side, okay. So let me do the question according to your teacher style or right hand side style. They usually take this one, so it will be directly easy for you to do. So take it, cot square theta minus one divided by cot square theta plus one. Cot square theta minus one, which will be cot square theta by sine square theta minus one. Divided by cos square theta by sine square theta plus one. Okay. Take the LCM. LCM will be sine square theta cos square theta minus sine square theta. Taking the LCM as sine square theta, we are getting the answer. Divided by sine square theta cos square theta plus sine Square theta, okay. Delete this one. Remove this denominator. So what we got? Cos square theta minus sine square theta divided by cos square theta plus sine square theta. It is one, right? So no need to write down. We got the answer. Sine cos square theta minus sine square theta. We got the answer. So it is easy for you to do by taking right hand side and finding out left hand side. So you just do this second method. Okay, it will be easier for you to do. Let us do the another question. Another question. This kind of questions are asked. Frequently by giving five marks. Okay, it is very important question. Okay, this you can find in your third exercise, I think so. And I forgot to tell you the deleted portion. Deleted portion is ten point three, I think so. Okay, uh, is ten point one are those two three? Three is the deleted portion, and ten point four they usually ask. Okay, so if you if I want to tell you about deleted portion, I haven't taken any question from deleted portion, and they usually don't ask it. Then. Okay. They are not deleting the important portion. They are deleting the questions portion that they don't ask usually. Okay, so this is the question. This question was asked in, asked by giving five mark. It was asked in two thousand eleven. 
Okay, the angle of depression of the yeah. top and bottom of 8 meter tall tree from the top of tower are 45 degrees and 60 degrees respectively from the height of the tower. So, the question says the angle of depression of top and bottom of 8 meter tall tree. There is a tree. Okay, this is a tree. This tree is 8 meter tall. Now, the angle at the top and bottom of the tree from the top of tower, there is a tower. There is a tower. Okay. This is the tower. To, uh, 45 degree and 60 degree respectively. Now, this, there is, this is the top of the tree. So, this is 45 degree. Top of the tower, top of the tree and this this angle it is 60 degree so here what you need to understand is you need to understand angle of depression angle of depression means this angle okay from top till down when you look that is angle of depression so the angle of depressions are 45 degree and 60 degree this whole angle is 60 degree of the this is a tree okay there is a tree and there is a tower okay this is a tree and there is a tower now from top of the tower you are looking downward here so this angle is 45 and if you look down here down of the tree then it is for, uh, 60 degree so that's all what are uh, given in the question so draw a line here so if this angle is 45 okay then you can say something you just draw a line so this angle will also be 45 degree and if this angle is 60 then this angle will be 60 degree so what the question is asking question is asking us to find the height so let us represent this by h okay let us this name that let us give the distance by a b okay so a b c let me name d e okay a b c d e i have named it now what we need to find out is the value of h okay how we are going to find out just look here let us do 10 45 10 45 what is 45 what is 10 opposite by base so de by base is dc de by dc okay now de by dc 1045 is always one so dc is equal to de 1045 is one so cross multiplication it will be dc by is equal to de okay dc this one is equal to de so dc is also equal to ab dc is also equal to a b these two are equal okay so far clear now another thing de we can write dc is equal to de so this distance de if total distance is h so de will be h minus da from here here so da will be 8 so h minus 8 okay so de will be h minus 8 so we can write h minus 8 also here simple now let us do 10 for 10 60 10 60 degree what will be 10 60 degree 10 60 degree will be opposite a e by a b a e by a b so what is 1060 1060 is what is root 3 right i hope so it is root 3 so root 3 is equal to a e a e we have written down as h what is a b a b a b is a b is equal to dc these two are equal okay is equal to a b so a b we can write down as h minus 8 h minus 8 so let us solve this one okay we can find out so let me rough out everything if you need to understand you just take you just go back and you just learn okay you just copy it down okay i'm not it i'm not doing an attempt to make you like do the complete questions or like you do in exam okay i'm just teaching you so that it will be easier for you to catch up okay so that i'm just making it easier for you doing the important questions okay because i like like other type of videos i'm not doing step by step it will take much longer time okay it will take more than three or four hours 
so and students find it easy to uh, lazy to do oh, that much longer if you want you just write down in the comment below i'll make that way video also do not do not worry okay it's just your request if you just request i'll just do it so we have done the cross multiplication to this one okay so doing cross multiplication so root 3 into h minus 8 root 3 is equal to h so you take h this side root 3 h minus h is equal to 8 root 3 okay take h common root 3 minus 1 is equal to 8 root 3 so h will be 8 root 3 divided by root 3 minus 1 h is the height that we need to find out so we have got the answer you can find out in your decimal point even so 8 into 1.71 or 1.7 minus 1 like this you can find out okay you just do the calculation and find it out okay or if you want me let me not do it okay if you want me i can just do it also it's not that complicated or nothing nothing difficult but just do it okay just to multiply all this thing and you'll get the answer let us do another question an aeroplane when 3000 meter high passes vertically above another at an instant when the angle of elevations of the at the observing point on the ground are 60 degree and 45 degree respectively how many meters higher is one than the other there is an aeroplane okay this imagine this is an aeroplane the aeroplane is flying okay but now there is another aeroplane over here okay there is another aeroplane okay now this aeroplane passes okay this aeroplane passes over this one aeroplane so this aeroplane is this aeroplane is suppose let's say this is the ground this is the ground so it is 3000 meters high so this aeroplane is 3000 meters high now when the angle of elevations of the observing point on the ground are 60 and 45 degrees respectively how many meters i want now there is an observing point on the ground okay so let's say this one so angle of elevations so angle of elevations of this means they okay this one and there is an under angle of elevation this one okay this angle angle of elevation of the fast aeroplane it is 60 degree this one is 60 degree and there is another angle of elevation this one it is 45 degree okay now the question is asking us are 16 how many meters high is one than the other okay so let us draw a line okay so let us draw a line now we need to find out this distance okay so let us name it a b c d okay so let us find out 10 45 simple you just find out 10 okay do not forget 10 okay 10 you get the answer find out 1045 what is 1045 dc by bc what is dc here we do not know 3000 meters is the total height let us take this as x okay this one is x ad is x then dc will be 3000 minus x okay dc will be 3000 minus x divided by what is bc we do not know right on bc if they given no right so 1045 it is always 1 so 1 this is 1 so 1 is equal to 3000 so it will be bc is equal to 3000 minus x we have got this much so let me rough out again and let me find out 1060 degree okay 10 of 60 degree 10 of 60 degree what will be 10 of 60 degree it will be ac divided by bc ac divided by bc what is ac 3000 right ac this whole distance from here till here it is 3000 right given in the textbook 3000 meter divided by bc 1060 1060 is always equal to root 3 so 3000 by bc so bc is equal to 3000 divided by root 3 okay so we can write 3 into 1000 divided by root 3 root 3 so it will be like this okay so we got bc is equal to root 3 into 1000 sorry for the wind i cannot control the wind
so 3000 in minus x so we got 1 bc is equal to here hey, hey. bc is equal to 3000 minus x we got 1 another we got bc is equal to root 3 into 1000 so equate these two bc is equal to i think i'm making more difficult for you if you find any any difficulty in understanding this question please write down in the comment below now i'm realizing in making this question in doing this question faster and faster i'm making more complex for you if you think so please write down in the comment below okay into 1000 is equal to 3000 minus x okay we need to find how many my meter high is one than the other we need to find x so x is equal to okay x is equal to it will be 3000 minus root 3 into 1000 okay so 3000 minus root 3 let me take 1.7 into 1000 so 3000 let me record all this 3000 minus 1712 okay multiply by 1000 this decimal point will shift to 3 position so 1 2 3 here is the decimal so what 3000 minus 17000 actually i can do more accurately i think 73 i can write down like this so it's at 30 i can down, write down like this also so it will be anyway okay you could do anyway okay so it will be 1270 i hope this is the answer okay so that's all how you get one say 1.73 i think root 3 value you'll get as 1.73 approximately okay i hope so i will check it out i hope so it will be 1.73 root 3 value okay you just find it out okay you just if you have the calculator you just remember this much okay in the exam if you happen to find out the value of root 3 it will take another 10 minutes for you so you will be able to set the time so that's all so let us do one more question i think so let me do one more question yeah even they used to give okay the value like take root 3 is equal to 1.73 like in this question so what does this question says two towers of the same height stand on either side of the road 60 meter wide at a point on the road between the towers and are 60 degree and 30 degree find the height of the tower and position of the point two towers of the same height stand on either side of the road 60 meter wide at a point on the road between two towers within the towers are 60 degree and 30 degree find the height of the tower and positions of the point so i think the questions the video has reached already one hour so this is the assignment for you you just do it by yourself it was actually in 2012 this kind of question you can get every year okay and if you think that kind of questions are difficult i'm going to make a separate video for explaining only these kind of questions okay it depends upon your comment okay if you write down in the comment below i'm ready to make another video because this video has already reached one hour i think editing it will reach at least one hour so i don't want to go much further and explain more questions okay so thank you so much we'll meet in the next video if you have any doubts regarding this question feel free to tell me okay or write down in the comment below i am going to make a video for you thank you so much